Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm on here today for the fourth time. Okay, I've been trying really hard to start another journal. I think I might have the idea now. Because <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to actually do in it. Well, there's another thing. <laughs> okay, so I've got a lot of things. Right, now these here I printed off, I uh, purchased these on Etsy. And... I really love these pages as well. I've got a few of those I've printed off and I've got a few of the these postcards. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And then I've got that beautiful piece of um, the fairy paper, Graphic 45 fairy paper. Fairy Wings collection it is. And um, these grateful and that Annette sent me. So I've got all these little beautiful bits and pieces here that I'm going to use. Now I have been fussing around here this morning or today because you know we're up to night time because I had to come back in because the videos I made didn't work right and I had to run off and leave half on one halfway through and it was just no no good for me putting that up for you. So you know what when things aren't going right you're supposed to go right away from them aren't you? That's what they say, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, okay? So, what I want to do is, I'll just do a couple of things with these pieces first, because I know what I want to do with this piece anyway, so we know what we want to do with this piece. That's, that's a start, isn't it? So let's try to see if we can cut this out straight for a start. Um, I'm not going to make ta uh, postcards out of them, because they're too big for the journal that I've got here. And I have got... Um, can't see very good now because the light the day is getting old <laughs> uh, but that's okay because I this, today I just could not get it to work for me no matter what I did you know and sometimes if things aren't going right you're supposed to go right away from them so hopefully and my idea is that I will make something <clears throat> with this fairies in it and flowers Maybe fairies and flowers and butterflies. We can sort of flutter by <laughs> butterflies. Fairies and flowers and butterflies. I'm going to cut that raggedy looking edge off there because I could have tore it. Maybe I will now because I don't know if I could have torn it along that that line. I'll just see whether I will tear it or not. We'll, we'll see what happens, okay? Um, I was going to make some ephemera, but I have a box now there that I really don't need. This actually will be something you can put in your journal anyway. It's going to be a little... It's easy going to be a little notebook, of course. And I love making little notebooks, and they're easy to make. And I thought, well, that is just the beginning of one. Look at that. It's already there for you. See? It might be a postcard, but it's going to make a really nice little notebook to go in the fairy fairies with the fairies and the butterflies and things like that. So that's really simple. This is really simple. I will, um, I might, I have, a bit, I have a bit enough time to make one and show you and then see what we're going to do with the, I'll show you the part of the book that I've cut so far going. What I've cut out and done so far, or the pages I've put in, I should say. See, that's really crooked, isn't it? Because I, well, I'm going to tear that, then I'm going to put a bit of, um, stuff on. I'm going to have to get this piece of paper off here. Everything's blown away because the fan's going. I'm sorry about the fan but we have to have the fan because otherwise I'd probably suffocate because I need a fan on in here. And to tear this would have been easier if I had it. Why do I have to tear it together? I don't know. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. Mine wasn't so great to start with. <laughs> can't seem to get that. I, th I think I know what's wrong with me. I'll, te I'll tell you. Um, I the doctor's put me on those stronger painkillers and they were working really good to stop my arm from hurting but I don't think it's my body's working for me it's my brain yeah so it's been really hard um I can't sort of <laughs> anyway I never had any last night or yesterday so today I don't feel too bad I've not got any pain well a bit, little bit you know it's nothing that Nothing we're going to be grizzling about, that's for sure. This is a bit of, um, I'm putting a bit of this to you. No, I'm not. I'm going to put some of this on. Let's try some of this. Um, antique linen I'm going to have a go at. And I have a, 
a bit of, oh this is green, I'll try this green bit. We'll go with this green one first, because there's some on the brush. Uh, this is the one that's in that box that I can't open, but I should have enough here to, um, when I say boxes, just stamp pad. <laughs> you know, the stamping up stamp pads, I think that's what it's called. It's hard for me, I'm, I'm working it out slowly. I'm slowly getting the hang of it. So this is just this is just a cover for your little journal. Now there's one there. Look at that. I'm really that's, I really like that. That's well, that's the way we want to go. That's the way we want to go. Okay. Now, um, I'll put paper in there shortly. I'll just do around this one. See both of them in, they're in greens and, and brown tones and things like that. Now all these um, these beautiful fairy pictures in the in the in the paper pad. Uh, it's called the Fairy Wings Collection, and they are, um, actually I have another, I have a small pad like that I think somewhere, I should probably get that out and then I can use the smaller bits as well, but these, <coughs> I'm going to do a very, I hope a variety of um, different uh, things in the inside, when I say things I mean, um, Give me a second, I'm sure that book's here somewhere. That's the doll one. That's uh, not it. Um, <coughs> it all fall out at me. It might be over in the other, in the other place. I don't know whether it was only a 6x6. Six six. I'm just here, I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I'll have to yell out I suppose so you can hear me. I thought I had an 8x8 eight eight piece of it. Um, that's a doll one, that's a, no, no, come on, well, this might work, these might be, have some good, this um, pad, pad might have some good pieces that'll go, go with it, oh yeah, look at the colours and things in that, look, beautiful, okay, so, <coughs> I'll do this here first, uh, Sorry about this, if I'm a bit slow today, but <laughs> I'll be right in a minute. We'll get there. We will get there. It's um, really not a bad day today. It was really, it was warm. Now it's warm still. I've got the fan on because it's nice here in Australia where we are sitting trying to make another journal. What did I do with it? <laughs> yeah, here we are. So I've got the pages ready. I've got it all stitched together. Um, this one I made myself this morning. I sprayed it with this. Um, I hope you can see. All, you probably can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Oh dear, I'm so sorry if you can't. Ah, I can't start this again. I'm going to have to put this up no matter how bad it is. I sprayed this with Miss, Mr. Huey's colour, colour mist. And all I did was spray the, I put a bit of plastic down, sprayed the plastic and then rubbed the paper in it. Okay. And then I've got, I'll just put that in there. I've got papers there that were sent to me by um, Penny over in England. This is upside down. I mean, over in England, so she sent me those. I have um, actually taken that one out and I'm going to replace it with this piece here that over there because I did make a mistake I did my hands are falling apart here must be old age but I've got also well some different sorts of papers in it and I do have a bird okay and he's gonna stay there because I like him and I'll fix up that page with him later okay we'll do that a bit after but I want to put this back in here well back in here but I want to put a page in here because what I put on here I couldn't get it off and I didn't like it so I needed to move it you know how that is, don't you? So I'm going to put this paper. So if you need to take anything off, just take it out. Um, like I said, I had a lot of trouble trying to get my mojo to go for me today. <laughs> because I couldn't decide what sort of style I wanted to do. I know I want to do something pretty. As I usually want to do something pretty. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Sonia. It's Sonia's journal. Sonia made journal. Made by me, I guess that's what it is. Okay, so we're going to put that there. It does not quite come to the top of the bottom, but I'm not going to be worried about that. And I'm going to be putting a piece of lace or something. 
up along there. We don't know yet what that'll be. I love this picture. I really do love this picture. And that is little fairies out of a kid's book. It's a little fairy. Now, um, I did the... These, this is what I use for the little books, isn't it? Right, now I'm going to do... Um, I think these will look really good with the fairy. I'm going to put them on the hot... The, use the whole of them on the page or not, I don't know. Let's just cut out one and see what it looks like. <clears throat> We've got to work out the ephemera that would go. I'm going to have to get back here a bit. I, don't know, I suppose I wasn't even in the shot anyway. I'll cut it up here roughly so I can put the rest of it down. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to sit stuff on the top of everything around here, stuff from blowing away. <clears> Hold <throat> oh, that. Righto. Now, what do we want to make with this? I have to see. I've got lots of different different things, ideas, pockets, flip outs. There's lots of ways you can put things together, isn't there? So let's have a go at this one first. I do love dragonflies. I really do. Oh, hang on. I'm going to use that first page as my cover. So this is going to go in here. Okay. With something behind that. Okay, what colour will I do that? Well, I do like that. That, was, that gives it a lift, doesn't it? It really does. <clears throat> this could be a flip out thing, I think. I do like things, you know, that are like that. Um, I might glue this onto here. How big do we want this to be? <clears throat> don't ask me what this is going to be, please, because I don't even know yet. I just got to do something with it make myself feel at least I've achieved something today because there is no way I didn't want to put up a video another day this week I'm missing out and that won't be good I just spotted something down there <laughs> that I thought I would have liked to have used on this so let's try it just keep going along now I'm going to measure it up there and hopefully this will be straight I'm trying to line it up here because I want to so I'm going to line the top bit up, up properly and the bit there, I oh know, can't do it. Now, how about now? We got it? <laughs> Alright. <-o. clears throat> put that back there. It's way too big. Right, so we're gonna come down a bit. Move over a bit. Leave it there. And that's not straight that piece, so let's Make these two pieces straight. Where is it? There and there. And <clears throat> we'll see how that looks. <clears throat> First of all, I'll get one of these. The lovely envelopes. I do love the colours of these. Now, it seems to be going towards the apricot colours, don't we? Apricots and yellows. That's too wrong. It's too far, too far, that, that colour. It's too dark, I think. <clears throat> oh dear, be, be that. I've cut this straight. I'll just give it a bit of a check on there. We'll know when we go to cut the um, corners off it though if it's straight or not, won't we? I guess once I get a couple of pages done then I'll be right. I'll be on a roll, I guess. I hope. I won't cut it. What's the matter? What's the matter? I'll try this one up here. It keeps bending, I think. Yeah, see, it thinks it's cut it, but it hasn't. Try and trick it, turn it up the other way. 
you go. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I know. It's strange, isn't it? Okay. Now, if that goes on there like so, I think I'd like it to be flipping out over that way like such, you know, so it'll be um, something like this. And do I want it to be open up this way to a pocket in there or not? Maybe I'll do more of that in the inside part. Where's my book? Blue book, where are you? I seen it a second ago and I thought, now there's my blue book. <laughs> yep. There it went, obviously. Really? <laughs> I just seen this. There you go, where'd I put it? Oh dear, sorry people. I'll give you a bit of this. A bit of Right, now, a bit of glue stick. Okay. Don't lose your lid, Sonia. That's the lid off the one that I left the lid off the other day because it's all dried out on me now. I went all weird and plasticky looking. So I left the lid off it. We shouldn't be doing that, should we? Let's stick that on there. Very good. Come back. Little tiny bit difficult this with the fan going. There's no glue on there, so that's good. Okay. Now I've got it a bit higher at the top than the bottom. Does that make a difference? Will that really matter to me? I don't think so. Okay. Can't put anything down. It's all blown away everywhere. Now, I want to put something, something else on here. Interesting. What have I got? Something interesting, Sonia. I don't know. Let me see. Is it going to turn this into a? A flipping over thing. No, it's too, too wrong that colour. Um, it's, if it's going to turn over like that, I want a bit of writing paper under here. That's a really old piece, it's all a bit kerfuffly. A bit kerfuffly. I'll put this on. Come back. Come back to me. I'm not thinking about this, you know, so that's, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just, I know what I want to put on there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, everybody. Yep. Let's see what happens. If I don't come on here tomorrow, you'll know I'm still having a bad time with me, with me mojo. I've had it disappear before, but I think this is ridiculous this time. Is that a bit of glue? No, it must be something that's already on the paper. Could have come off me. You know, it's all, because it's wet, it's all lifting up. But I'm not upset about that because I like it. I like it, it doesn't matter. It's what I want to put on here, so that's going to go under there. This is a bit of glue or something that's kind of got stuck to it. Glue this down properly, Sonia. So when you put your glue stick on, you're supposed to really press it down because it it won't stick really good in it unless you press it down and you've got a lot of a lot of glue underneath it, okay? You've got to have a lot of glue and I'm going to have to sit this somewhere so it dries <coughs> really nicely. Now I want to make a hinge for this. And that sort of kind of fits pretty good, doesn't it? it? It sort of is a little bit too long. It doesn't matter. I think I like the idea that it's not exactly okay. I'm going to cut this, these corners here. I should have put the big ones soon, because that's what I did with the other bit. And that's coming unstuck too. I'll have to fix that. 
I mustn't have put as much um, glue stick down as I thought I did. It actually is quite daunting trying to fight the fan. <laughs> I think I might have to get it put behind me somewhere. Um, I'm trying to stop this from going everywhere and getting khaki. <laughs> and the fan's blowing it all over the place. Put a bit more glue under this piece. Hope I've got it now. Hope I've got it now. Right. Now I want to put something else on here. And I probably should do that before I go any further. And that's the wrong colour. I'll put a butterfly on here if I can find the right bloke. Okay. I should be able to. I hope. Yeah, there's one. Wait a minute. Ah. These will go flat out flying if, that, if I, the wind gets behind these, won't they? They're all very, very um, flimsy. Very flimsy. Here's one. That's going to look awesome on that page with that there. That's just cool, isn't it, though? I do love that. Yes, I do. We're going along. We're going along, eh? Look at this. I should probably stay in and keep going while I've got to <laughs> get up and go with me. Hey, should I? <laughs> now, you notice I've gone up over that. But that's good. you got to have a little... Um, you know, everything's not going to be perfect, but it's going to, it, it looks nice, doesn't it, the butterfly on there? It goes really well. Okay, now we're going to make a hole because we really, really want to put something pretty in here as well. Brad of some sort. Description. Maybe a pin. We need a... to figure out what we're going to use for the hinge first. That could be washi tape. I know, I love to put calico. I do love to put calico. I know some people don't like the idea of calico until you see it. You don't like it till you see it. That's what I feel anyway about it. I think, oh no, no, I don't do it because I've always been a fan. Calico, which I don't know what I've done with it now, I had a big piece. Oh dear. Right, that's what we get for tidying up, isn't it? You know? Tidy up and then everything disappears on me. Maybe it is in the bag on the floor where it probably put it, you know. I just like the way that the the um the calico and the and the lace that the gauze laces and things all go together. It's my favourite way to deal with things. Put it back in the bag, there you go. Next time I'm looking for it we all know where it is, don't we? Okay, now, because the colours look so nice together, they really do. Now, how do I do the hinge? Do I do the to a top hinge that goes under to the back, like so, and leaves that like that, and I do like that, like that. I am partial to that like that, yes. Now, I've got to get the right length. <sighs> Pull some of this, this off here. You want to make a, a journal too? Get all your goodies ready and we make a journal together. I really wanted to put as much, um, pull these through, that doesn't matter, they'll make a little things in it. Um, I wanted to make a, like a sample-ish sort of thing. Well, as I usually do put a fair bit different, a fair few different ideas in my journals. I like to put a few different ideas. Um, so hopefully I will be able to show you, some of them will turn out accidentally, some will make on purpose I think, <laughs> some of them will turn out accidentally, because it works with whatever you've got going for you at the time I think. Now, the, this is what I'll do, I'm going to put that on there, like that, I'm going to fray it, I'm going to fray the edge, fray the top and the bottom, fray the sides, Fray this bit here. Okay. Right now, it's all natural sort of thing, isn't it? See? Okay, so now I'm going to put this on here like that. And to that, I'm going to add a brad before I stick it down. So I must, I must um, commend myself on thinking of that first, <laughs> so I wouldn't have to do it afterwards. Put it on there. It's going to do, you know, when 
If we had lots of time, we should wait till that dries properly, but that's going <coughs> to take a while, so I'll put this down here. Got a big bubble of glue there. Wipe it off. I've got a, a washer with water on it, like a wet washer, that would be. And I'm going I'm to, um, I'm going to make sure this stays on. I'm putting it on with some glue, glue, glue. Some good glue. They always use the good glue, though. And anything's falling off. I oh, know. So that goes like that. Because it would have to be wetter where I want to use that other bit at the top, wouldn't it? Would have to be wetter there. So eventually, <laughs> this dries up, because I'll be leaving it sitting underneath something while I'm doing other things. Um, so that's going to go there like so, and then your, your book will be like this. Whether I think I should put the piece of metal, whatever I use, you know, like a brad or something on this side, it could give it a little, um, what's the name, and hold it down a bit, eh? A little nudge. Now I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the glue here, not too close to this part, and not too close to that part, but in the middle of the calico so that it doesn't squish out everywhere and it doesn't matter if that other piece of calico the, the calico lifts up a tiny bit and then if I put it down on here like this I'm just imagining that would go right there for me and I hope everything's up the right way and that goes like that and you, and you wouldn't dream that that would be that piece there at the top would you doing that because it would have to be <laughs> okay so therefore that's your hinge for that to turn over. Now, I can come along and put a bit more glue down in that bit. And I think I might, just to, just to bring it over a bit so it's not going to take off over to the inside of the book here. Alright, I'm bringing it over a bit by putting glue back behind there. Okay. I can't believe I've got that double bit sitting there. Okay, now that's cool. Some of this doesn't stick down. Okay, good. Keep an eye on that so it doesn't muck up. A bit there could have been frayed a little bit better, but we can't be too picky now. We're not going to be like that. Um, so, I want to put a bread or a hole or something in this. Let's just have something here, uh, like a turn up thing. It will have another page or two under here, probably. What do you reckon? Put another page on, just the top bit, just glue across there. So there's a bit of something, like, um, it looks like it's been stained. I'm leaving this red bit on here, <laughs> vintage style writing pad. Leaving the red bit on the top. Come over and put that on there. So you've got a couple of pages there to journal on. Because I like to fill my journals up with lots of bits and pieces, I think I'm going to be doing a bit of making of that. This has got to sit down. <laughs> it's driving me, you know, it's upsetting me to hear something frightful. Now, um, I want something. Gee, I like this bike. Somebody gave me some stuff the other day. A friend of mine gave me some more things. <laughs> got to get some bits and pieces and she that was included in it. I've got so many beautiful bits and pieces that I want to do for in here. And they will be all coming into there directly. Uh, let me see. I need to finish this one first. Before I go to the next page, I want to finish this one first. So there's got to be something particular. Where's the lid off the glue stick here? There's got to be something particular that I want to put on there, surely. I know I've got a dragonfly, but he could go on the cover. The dragonfly on the cover. So what do we put up here, Sonia? Um, we punch a hole and put a brad in. But only a small one. We don't want to go over the top. We just want something up there that will make it look, you know, a little bit. Of, I just want a bit of bling on it. That's not, it's not actually blingy now, is it? There's one green dragonfly. I don't know if I showed you. I did a video. I put on me bling in here. Me, me faux. Me faux bling. 
Something is telling me to stick something here to keep this shut. <clears throat> okay. Like maybe a button. I don't know. Maybe a button on that. What do you think? I've got a big jar of those too somewhere. Where are they? Here's some. Just want one, please. Just one 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 of those ones with mother of pearl. Oh, it's a little bit heavy, but it'll keep it closed. Even with the wind blowing on it. I'll have to get a smaller one. That's really old. That, that looks really nice. I like that one. That's not very um, not very old. And that's okay. Look, I pick up everything from one side and I turn around and I put it down another bit. I do it every time. Now I need this to be smaller. It's too big. Up. I do like to have it frayed up a bit. I'm skew with it. There we go. I wonder if that'll fit through the hole on the button. That'll be interesting, won't it? If it does, I don't think it will, though. No. That could have worked. <laughs> it could have worked, Sonia. Could have worked. I reckon I just need the button there, but if I feel like I need to put something on there to hold it down more, I will put something on there to hold it down more. A bit of, a bit of gold stuff. Stuff. I might get this one here. Well, this is better than trying to search me stuff through a bottle, a box up on, with all my stickers and stuff in it, isn't it? I can see them. Come here. I've got this nice colour on here. This is pretty. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put any ink around this. Oh, there's still time and there's still plenty of... Come here. There's still time. Let's put ink. You're in the middle of the button. You stay there like that. that I do like that. I do. I'll sit that there. Uh-huh. Something else? Not enough? I don't know. I like that. But I do like the fray bit too. Do I want the fray bit? I want the lacy part, the lazy look. I want the lacy look. It could go behind there, I guess. So I'm going to ink this here in the green. Which is really pretty, isn't it? So I must remember to do this all the way through my book. What do you reckon? I'm going to run out now. I just can't see it. One of the two. Oh, it's there. All right, nobody panic. <laughs> now, the little button can go on that. Is that little? Maybe it should be littler. Okay, a smaller button. Mm. You've got to figure this out, don't you? You've got to work out how this is going to work. I think people would be inclined to look in there, wouldn't they? And in there I'm going to have another... I don't know if I'll have another page. This is a little bit crooked here, I must say. But you know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it looks fine. And the more I look at that, the more I like it. So if I don't dislike it, I'm going with that. Okay, so I want to use this old vintage button in here. I do. <clears throat> and I just see I wanted some bling, so I put that De Monte thingy on there. Faux De Monte is what uh, Tina, who is Chevy Dabba Doo she calls this, these Faux De Monte things. Because they're f fake diamonds. As the, there you go, Faux De Monte. Somebody was looking for them once, which is... <laughs> they didn't understand what it was called, that. <clears throat> but now we learn lots of things in, in this... Um, in this journaling world, all about all different sorts of things. <laughs> Saying that, don't we? <clears throat> I 
what things are called and that when you get out there and do stuff. I'll have three of these. I'm going to put something up here. Cover over this bit of, bit of glue I got. But not only that, it needed it. It did need that, didn't it? Okay. So, I don't think you've seen anything like that before. <laughs> idea. Sorry, don't make me silly. Oh, I've got to laugh sometimes because I get myself into a state of trying to think of what to do. But once I can get started, I feel a lot happier with it. And I feel like this is what I want this to do, okay? Um, I'm a little bit, you know, this is a little bit out of whack, but that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if it's out of whack a bit. See, here we've got, this is a bit crooked, isn't it? I don't think it'll come off to fix it. No, we don't want to tear that. We do not want to tear it. So what do I do? Do I push it over there further? Would that be the, the way to handle it? Sonia? No. See how we've got to... I don't know how I managed to do that. But I did. But if I push that over there, that's not going to come level here. So let's just leave it like it is. Let's just leave it like it is. I think will be rocking around in the bridge. It'll be fine. Okay. That'll be one page. Now, um, onto one of these. I want to put uh, maybe a fairy piece. And here, love this one love that one this is going to be the inside of the first page this bit this will be the inside of the first page so what I need really is for these two pages to go together a bit, bit more as far as um, colors and stuff go you know whether I can put this a tuck spot there what have I got hanging around here um, You didn't make that a thing, couldn't you? Bit of a feature. If you cut that out a bit, that looks cool. Right. No. I wonder if I got a bit bigger piece of the fairy bit cut out. No. Why haven't I? Why haven't I got more fairy pieces? Let me see. I need something in the colour of the, the tones that are on here, though, for it to come together. Um, that there could work. I've got anything in the... These are really dark, these colours in here, some of them. Time to flourish. Greens. No, <clears throat> it's not heading towards the right idea, is it? I'm going to put these back up here, did I? Okay, I'm just getting a piece of paper. Just need a piece of paper. These ones are a bit big for my, for my journal. They're a little bit wide, aren't they? A little bit wide. So I'll have to put one of those in the pocket. I'll have to do a pocket with one of these here. Now I'm, I'm thinking, I've got myself thinking here now, what will I do? Oh, I know, two pockets. Oh, the green looks good. The green looks good, yes. I like that. Okay. Now I'll just trim around here. I hope I can do this good with the scissors. Just take this bit of blue off. And we can just make a couple of pockets, eh? That's not straight, Sonia. I'm going to have to cut it with the... I'm going to have to get the trimmer and do it out of the way. Yep, you surely are. Because that did not work. There's cookers, eh? Which piece? Oh, I'm sure one of these is not right. <laughs> I'll put it down here and try and fix it. I'm here, nobody panic, I'm just here, look. I'm trying to fix this. Um, doesn't look right, does it? You'd think I could do it, judge it by these lines. Aha, uh -huh. I got this, I figured it out. 
I did, I figured it out. This one's going to have to have a piece of it too. Just a tiny bit though. Mm -hmm. We need something the same colours. I've just got some paper down here that I'm looking for something that will go behind it. I need a, um, a fawny colour, won't I? Mm. A bit of file folder, maybe. <coughs> Thinking again. Don't worry, but there's something going on there. Um, so there's another green piece. Okay. Right. So I'm going to cut this up here. Straight now, this way. Really straight, Sonia. This one. This one here. Come on. The idea of this was, I thought, well, you could use that as a pocket and that as a pocket, and they're both um, on the page because you wouldn't stick. It wouldn't be stuck down completely, that would it? Um, maybe not. Maybe not. That didn't work for me, did it? <laughs> this is this is me rounded pocket. Me round pocket. No, I um, seem to have come to a bit of a stoppy. I'm just cutting while I'm thinking. You know, you got to you got to keep your mind on something. You keep your mind on something. Maybe this one can be done after because I got it. You know why it's probably not working for me? Because I'm supposed to be putting the cover onto that. And if I put the cover onto that, I don't think I'll be bringing it round over the top of it though. I like that better. That looks a bit better with it, doesn't it? Now, something else. Something else. What have we got else? Okay. These are the papers that I did this morning too. I wiped that through there as well, I did. But I don't think I want that in the front. I would have liked a bit bigger piece. I suppose that one would work here in that one, maybe? No, too much. It's too much. It's, it's hitting at us. It's smacking at us. Flat out. About this one here. Let me put that in there. It's a tag. It's not a pocket. That's clever. Um, figured that out all by yourself, Sonia. I'm being silly now. Sorry, everybody, but I'm just feeling like I can't. I'm feeling like I'm under pressure now for this because it's. Um, I feel like it's pushing me to do a bit more, and I can't figure out what to put there. I need a piece of something that'll go right across there and make a pocket and turn it into a pocket and cover it with something nice even if I put a, a picture like so over the top of it it's too mm. <laughs> ah dear how about that oh that's better well I do like that ok looks like we might have something after all I have to tear it now you're going to have to cut it. <clears throat> Must be just something to do with you. just got to be patient. Bit of trial and error. <laughs> you just got to be patient, Sonia. Need to be the right size. If we check this before we do any more. I have to take about half an inch off it. 
tiny bit off that way and a tiny bit off that way. Whoops. I do love these pockets where you've got lots of little ones, so let's have a bit of fun with that. Hope this is right. <clears throat> yep, really good. And then I'm going to have that piece up higher. It's going to be stuck to there, so it'll be covering that, and then it can have something in it. And that's me timed up, but I can have a couple of seconds, I think. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Right -o. Now, I'm going to put glue. No, I'm not. I'm going to finish trimming this. I can only do a little bit more to this, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go because it's only going to turn into another. It's going to finish and we're not going to be done anyway. All right, now let's do some, some of this. These bits. And... Mato, where's another thingy that we used to make a some thing? Well, I use it where? Let me see. Because I want that to sit up here. I want it to be, you know, staggered on here. So that's going to go like that. There you see, Mato. And then. What else then would we put? We don't know yet. I do love this. I do love this house. <laughs> I do love that house. I really do. I didn't put that house there. Do I have to do that? No, I don't. I'm not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And we're going to start to put the glue on down down here a bit. We're putting this piece on, and then that will be it for today. I am sorry if it's a bit of a muddly mess, but this is the fourth time, as I said, that I tried to do this. And I hope that what I've done is okay <laughs> with your approval. Now, hang on. I'm going to have to do it this way, aren't I, so I can see where the glue comes to. Over that way further, so if we stick it down. Ah! Uh, dear, oh dear. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry about the noise. Oh, I did go a little bit off-centre off further than I would have liked to. Oh dear, that glue's good. <laughs> it's stuck down, stuck down solid and hard. It is stuck down there for good. Now I'll go around the edge, <clears throat> down around here, up that way. Whoops! Come on, you fell off. I just fell off the edge. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> it's late in the day. Yeah, definitely is. Okay, so I'm going to take it over to the edge, a tiny bit. Put it down there like that. Oh, I've got glue under there for there shouldn't be anything under there at all. Come on, get off there. Now I'm pushing out glue, but I'm gonna put some lace down in this. I need some lace on here. Gotta put gotta start putting on some lace. Don't want to leave it till the last minute. Sometimes I do that. I tend to wait until it's nearly finished and then go, oh, should have put some lace on that. This, should, this needs a bit of something, something on there. Come on. I was going to put it on the other side. Maybe I should put it up under here. I don't know. I'll be fiddling with that later. Um, so on that, we have got stickers and things here that will look really good as little tiny tuck spots, little pockets, okay? I've got these little stickers here that are going to look awesome as little pockets. <coughs> so I'd only use something we to put another little pocket here maybe. Then I need to put some trim up there. So I'll be back. That's nice, that bit of trim there. I'll be back and I will continue on with this and I hope you like that what I've started out with. It took me a long time to get that far. <laughs> if anybody says, oh yuck, it's gacky, I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Everybody stay safe, have a good day. Sorry there's a, sh <laughs> there's a hole in me. <laughs> Sorry about that, you can see that on the camera and I believe this. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll talk to you later, bye bye. <laughs>